Oh, how are you guys doing? I'm having a good day, but enough of that. Here, hang on. There we go. Here are the top seven things nobody will want to forget about Roman Reigns. Number seven, his Royal Rumble 2015 win. January 2015, he had won the Royal Rumble, which I have on DVD. I actually thought that kind of Roman Reigns kind of deserved it, kind of somewhere, I don't know. But you guys tell me in the comments below who do you think should have won the 2015 Royal Rumble. But it's just the Philadelphia crowd, they, they booed him. I mean, the poor guy got booed when he came down to the ring, and he got booed when he went, went out of the ring. I think that the person who should have won was Daniel Bryan. He should have won. What's number six? Number six. Watch TLC 2014 to know this. His mic skills. Next. That's all I gotta say. Number five, the 2014 Slammy Awards. 2014 Slammy Awards. He was injured, I think, due to a hernia. This one's called a hernia. But he was the superstar of the year, which I thought he kind of deserved. He was good in 2014. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Number four, his his FCW alter ego, Leaky. Leaky, whatever you say. I think I was going to call him Leaky. I don't care. Um, back then... Um, he was Lee eight, Leaky, now is Roman Reigns, and forever, Joe Adawai. I think that's how you say it. But, I don't know, it's just, the Leaky character, it's just dumb. Number three, the Shield triple threat already happened. Um, FCW, Florida Championship Wrestling, Joe, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Leaky. Who won the match? Leaky, of course. Number two, his NFL career. Could this even be called a career? You know what? Another WWE, two WWE superstars that I know have played football. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and John Cena. I mean, if you, got, if you get the name of John Cena by life, um, he plays football. He, he plays football. And number one, Vince writes his promos. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all back next time.